Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Sarah. I hope everyone is well. It has come time for the weekly top and bottom of the deck. Uh, this one's going to have to be good for seven days because Sunday and Monday I have to um, deal with some personal business, so I won't be able to throw down cards. Um, but Tuesday, when I get back, I will be starting to finally throw down cards for the rest of November, and I hope to have November and December readings done by um, the end of the day the end of the day Thanksgiving Day. So I think 25 readings in nine days isn't unreasonable at all. Anywho, for those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. It is still Scorpio season. Scorpio is a water element, so I'll start with the water elements and go around the world accordingly. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool, but it's a general reading. Just keep that in mind. Um, it's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given over the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate, again, that's okay too. Just leave the cards on the table and walk away. It is simply not your message. If you think you might want a reading, reading that resonates a little bit better, you can check your moon rising or Venus sign placement. Again, if you so choose, just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid, all things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and our dear friends the cross watchers are always welcome here and again another friendly reminder if you are under the age of 18 i highly suggest that you not watch these videos there are certain topics of discussion that come up that are not appropriate for young ears and there's certain words that fly out of my mouth on occasion that certainly are not for young ears so hit me up on your 18th birthday we'll chat and throw down some cards okay all right, that being said, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 14th through the 19th. Okay, no, the 20th. I can't read from that far away. My phone's way down there. 14th through the 20th. Okay. Water signs, you are ending a cycle and starting an... Oh, yes. That's amazing. That Ace of Wands represents a new start in something you're passionate about. Something you're all fired up about. Something you're ready to go after. I like it. Doesn't necessarily have to be all about love and relationships, but we'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. Could be a fire sign. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If it is relationship-related... Could be a new job, could be a new adventure. I don't know. I'm just reading cards. In the past, uh, blah, 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 blah. I gotta make words work right now. Uh, in the past, we have the Magician and the Ten of Cups. So, something new may have manifested that didn't go the way you wanted. Okay, fair enough. Maybe it did not bring the happiness, joy, and bliss that you thought it might. Fast forward a little bit. Mm. Ace of Pentacles, Judgment Reversed. Oh, well. Ace of Pentacles can represent a slow-growing seed. Something that started off slow but had a potential for abundance. Judgment in the reverse, again, it depends. Are we talking relationships or are we talking other stuff? It's a general reading. So, change of a judgment call. Could have been a return. We'll throw clarifiers down. Hmm. There's an Ace of Pentacles on that Magician card. There's a single pentacle. There's a single pentacle here. Huh. Ace and the Ace. Huh. Okay. Well, there's a season for all things, isn't there? All right, let's come up this weekend. Oh, well. Five of Cups, Knight of Cups reversed. Ah, oh, man. Sometimes when we close cycles out, there's emotions involved in that. I think this weekend you're processing some emotions. All right, let's get some clarity. 
You're about to start something new, something passionate, something that's going to take right off. But you just got to deal with it. You got to deal with the spill cups. That's all there is to it. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my water sign friends, please? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Page of Swords reversed. <coughs> well, that's why the cycle ended. Cut off in communication? Okay. And if it wasn't a cut off in communication, prob possibly maybe things were said that shouldn't have been said, or you heard something you didn't want to hear? Okay. Ace of Wands reverse, clarifying an Ace of Wands. <laughs> Losing passion for one thing, jumping right into something else. Okay. Water signs, that's not like you, but, you know, tis the season. With that Scorpio Sagittarius cusp, it's that flux from... Fixed emotional energy to immutable fire energy, evolved action. Hmm. Interesting. All right. We are approaching that cuffs rather quickly, and I can feel it, let me tell you. Whoop. I hate pop ups. Okay. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed here for the past? Why are you popping up? What happened? The Knight of Pentacles reversed. Um... Offers off the table, things slowing down to a crawl, things went stagnant, you weren't happy. Okay, fair enough. Try to kick something off, it just doesn't work out. All right, well, why is this Ace of Pentacles down here? Hi. The Fool, okay. One more, one more. Closing cycles, beginning new ones. Ace of Pentacles. It's slow going energy. Could have been hanging out for a while. Maybe it was there and you didn't even realize it. And when you saw it, you're like, hey, you know what? There's no smoke and mirrors here. This this could be good. Let's do this. And perhaps it was, you know, a reversal of a judgment call that you made long ago. Maybe you're deciding, hey, you know what? This wouldn't be that bad. Or or you decided that. This is like in-process energy. Could have been a little, little bit ago. Could be a little bit from now. All Time is fluid, guys. Just work with me here. This, this coming week, though. There's emotions to be processed here. It happens when we close out cycles and begin new ones. The Five of Cups. I gotta throw one on that. Well, the Fortune reversed. Hmm.
I see. Could be an event, could be a return, chance meeting. Make you second guess what you're doing. Could make you question your judgment, question a reversal of judgment call in this instance. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? I'm not taking 20 cards. Try that again. Not taking 20. I did see the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles reversed, though, just for the record. Five pentacles reversed on top of that knight of cups reversed. Some of you gonna try to come in out of the cold. Mm-hmm. Could be that upside down knight of pentacles up there that things kind of went stagnant with. Could be an earth sign, doesn't have to be. Just kind of lost the feels for, tried to manifest it and didn't work out. You moved on, you changed your mind. Could have been real quick, real sudden. Sometimes when there's harsh exchanges of words and offers come off the table, oftentimes we end things relatively quickly. Start something before they kick off. Stop something before it starts. Know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Jump in thinking you know all the information. Hmm. All right. Well, that's what's headed for you this week. This right here. Second guessing yourself. I keep saying weekend this week. It's been a long week, guys. All right. Your advice the moon reversed, the eight of swords reversed. As long as you have all the information you need. And there's no smoke and mirrors. There's no lies and deception. Don't don't allow you to sell don't allow yourself to get all wrapped up in this. Clear vision for a clear path. A little bit more. Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. It's okay to drop your walls down. It's okay. It is okay to allow it's okay to allow people in it really is but you need to maintain your self-worth and recognize yourself for the catch that you are and other people will do so and sometimes it takes that dog iron upside down knight of pentacles a minute to realize what they walked away from <laughs> your catch okay all right water signs that's what we have for you let me know what happens good luck with that all right. I tell you, I'm like half whipped. Ooh, super tired. Okay. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 14th through the 20th. something didn't feel quite right about that. And what card do I pull out? The Five of Pentacles reversed. Mm. 
so back to my water signs for about two seconds somebody trying to come in out the cold mm. be wary be mindful all right one more shuffle for my fireside and friends these decks be being shady trying to hide cards from the other decks that and the cat got up here and jiggled stuff around on me. But we're just going to work with it. Obviously, there was a message in that card. Hmm. Knight of Swords upright, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Huh. Could be work related. You could be watching someone or someone could be watching you. Throw some clarity on that in a minute. It's an odd couple of cards right there. Past mm, three of cups are upright, ace of swords reversed. Could have been a third party situation. I'm not gonna call that out. I mean, it could be. I only got one three on the table. Could be a lack of communication between friends. Caught off in communication between friends. What happened after that? Six cups in the fool. It's coming in this week. Moon River. Oh boy. Truths and difficult decisions. Hmm. Okay. Communication, work. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards and tickle for my fire sign? Friends, please. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Two of Pentacles reversed. Could be some juggling going on. Why the Knight of Swords? Mm. Could be someone you're disconnected from. Could be someone where the connection wasn't mutual the feelings weren't mutual could be a Leo either you're watching them or they're watching you perhaps they're watching you because you're putting your work and your energy into other things why is the eight of pentacles here Ten of Swords. Disconnect. This is somebody you disconnected from. You're putting your energy into other things, trying to end the cycle. Trying to end the pain. Trying to love the sunshine again. There's some emotional juggling going on. Wow. Okay. Okay. Why is the Three of Cups here? We're just going to go through all of them for the fire signs because now I'm getting told a story. And I don't know whose story it is, but it's somebody's. You want to talk. And so do you.
Nine of Cups, Two of Wands reversed, on top of the Three of Cups. Why the Ace of Swords? Why the Ace of Swords reversed? Nine of Swords. Mmm. You're stuck. Or you were stuck. There was happiness. There was joy. There was togetherness. I think this is something you've had a hard time letting go of. All of a sudden there was a lack of communication. Your communication was cut off. You were kept up at night. Hmm. Talk to me, talk to me. Why is the Six of Cups here? Ten of Wands. soulmate connection. Not equally felt though. Kept you up at night. Had a deep, long-standing connection with this person. Possibly like past life. Lots of happy memories. Perhaps for some of you, it brought back this nostalgic feeling of when you were young again, maybe. I, I just heard that. You felt young again. But it became too burdensome for someone. Somebody had to release the burden. Why is the fool here? Armor reversed comes out. I think someone went off on their own path, living their own adventure, doing their own thing. One more. Why is karma reversed here? Reversal of a judgment call. Four of Pentacles reversed. Hit. Getting something off the chest. Release. Someone was released or someone is releasing. In process, guys. Why is the moon reversed here for what's happening this week? Why the moon reversed? Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. Someone may be seeing things a little more clearly now. Uh, possibly the giving or receiving of an apology, maybe? A small token? Could be a phone call, could be an email, could be a text message. It's an olive branch. Because someone still has very deep feelings for the other and those didn't go away. Someone still holds the cup with this Queen of Cups. Deep emotion. Why is the Two of Swords reversed here? Oh, wow.
That's painful. It's not like Ten of Swords painful, but that's painful. One more on that. Wheel of Fortune upright, Ten of Cups reversed. So difficult decisions being made. Somebody's either getting the cups spilled or they're spilling cups. One of the two. End of a cycle. Change in events. Five of Swords reversed. Strength reversed. Someone may be feeling a little bit drained this week and... Wow. Possibly making a difficult decision to just kind of leave the pieces behind and end a cycle. Because they're not happy. Because they haven't been happy. Possibly someone went off on the wrong path and probably leapt before they looked. That's a fire sign thing. We all do it. Saw the error of their ways, maybe. Maybe I should have looked. I don't know. Let's get your advice, fire signs. King of Swords reversed, Page of Cups reversed. Try to be fair. Now is not the time for emotional decisions, friends. Don't go off half-cocked and kick somebody's cup over based on the emotions that you're feeling in the moment. Try to be fair about it. Fairness and honesty is a two-way street. Five of swords upright, six of cups upright. Treat the other party involved the way you would want to be treated and don't be shady about it. And if they approach you, if you're generally interested, go for it. If you're not, just be fair about it. The only way to level this playing field is if everyone communicates honestly and fairly and not emotionally. Okay? All right. That's what I have for you, fire sign friends. Wow. <clears throat> Coffee. It's the coffee. I mean, it really is. I'm awake. Okay. Earth sign, friends. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we have in store for my earth sign, friends, the next seven days? Hmm? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 14th through the 20th. Two of Wands upright, three of Wands reversed. You're moving forward. You're letting go. You're not waiting around anymore. You are letting go of that rod of the past and moving toward the future, the world before you, and you are not waiting around. Okay? What happened? Princess of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh. Hmm. Well.
I'm waiting for a clarifier before I say a word. What happened after that? Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles. New starts in passion. Laying the foundations for a bright future. A coming together. What's happening this week? Just reversed to the seven of swords. Okay. Mm, can I get some clarity? Fun, not fun. Fun, not fun. Probably the most sarcastic version of the word fun. Hey now, what flew out? Eight of Wands could mean something, might not. Maybe it just fell off the deck. Maybe this is fast moving for you. Maybe this was literally like out of the blue. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get clarity in the cards on the table for my Earth sign, friends, please? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 14th through the 20th. Huh. Princess of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, why? Why have you appeared? Queen of Pentacles reversed. One more. Hanged man. One for the Princess of Wands. Not twenty. One. Thank you. Three of Wands. Interruption in the path. Acceptance of fate. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Oh, oh, earth signs. For some of you, you had a choice between two. And some of you chose the youthful, fiery, exciting, spontaneous path over the safe, Abundant. <laughs> I 
Oh boy. Or perhaps the safe and abundant didn't choose you. For some of you. Interruptions in the path. Perhaps they didn't choose you because they were putting their energy into other things. Hmm. Okay. One in the Ace of Wands. And I say that because the Ace of Wands appeared down here. New path. Spontaneous adventures. World reversed. Mm. Mm. Why the three of pentacles? Hi. You can reconsider your decision. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of you were torn. Some of you stopped the chariot dead in its tracks. Some of you had to make a painful, impossible choice. I'm not sure if you wanted to start that new spontaneous cycle after all. So coming in this week, I mean, all of this could be have been done onto you too. Don't get me wrong. Either you rejected somebody or they rejected you. All things being vice versa. For some of you, if this was done on to you, you didn't get picked and you were left waiting. And all of a sudden somebody's changing their mind, but you're not waiting anymore. Why is justice reversed here? Four of cups reversed. Yes, yeah, somebody may come back trying to level the playing field with you. There's just like, you can be like, no, what? You, you know what you can do with that cup? I don't want that cup. I don't want it. I'm ignoring your cup. You could straight up be ignoring them, too. Allowing the tower to fall. You know what? You knocked my tower over. I don't think I want to deal with you anymore. That's what I'm hearing right now. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yep. Someone maybe I then that okay, the seven of swords in all my research, it does not always necessarily indicate lies and deception. It can also be about planning. Because if you look at this card, you can only carry five swords. So he's got to come back for the other two. So he's got to make a plan. How do I come back for what I left behind? Some of you may be someone or may be dealing with someone who's making a plan to come back. Four of Swords, um, I see you just laying it to rest. Because you're processing one heck of a heartbreak here. No, 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 no. This was not fair. You knocked over my tower. You went off and did your thing elsewhere, and it doesn't matter that you changed your mind. Um, I waited around for you long enough. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm moving forward. That's 
what I see for you this week, Earth Sign friends. Emperor reversed in the Four of Cups in the upright. Oh, wow. I gotta, I gotta throw down and do more. Prince, Princess of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, Queen of Wands. I'm hearing it's not weakness to have a conversation. Don't. But you don't have to take what's in the cup either. You can have, sit down, have a conversation, hear someone out. You don't have to take what's in the cup. And you don't have to take the pentacle that they're offering. But set firm, stand tall, know what you want. And accept nothing less. Because that's what the Queen of Wands does. She knows what she wants. She goes after it if she wants it bad enough. And if she doesn't want it, well, she'll just stay seated in her throne. Because, well, darn it, she's the Queen and she does what she wants. So you do what you want. It's your journey, Earth Sign friends. I'm just reading cards. But if you choose... I mean, you know, you waited around long enough. If you choose to move forward, I'm not going to hold it against you. If you choose to go back, I'm not going to hold that against you either. It's not my journey. There's been plenty of times along the road of life that I looked back. And there's been plenty of times along the road of life that I accepted an apology too. So, okay. Hmm. Where'd you go? There you are. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 14th through the 20th. What's going on? I keep saying weekend and I mean week. I started to do, um medication on Wednesday to help me quit smoking, really, but it has some weird side effects and <laughs> but it has other contrib con uh, contributing good aspects to it, too. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to give it a month and see how I feel. I don't know if I told you guys earlier in the video that I started a new medication. If I did, I apologize for repeating myself, but that's one of the side effects. You forget crap. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 14th through the 20th. Ten of Wands reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed. What? What? What you hanging on to? What's got you dragging down, not wanting to put your energy in anything? Friends, what has you so weighed down and drained? What's going on? Two of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Cups reversed. Some of you could be attempting to juggle something that you've lost feelings for. Could be for, for financial reasons, I don't know, but you're still juggling. You're still trying to find balance with it. What? Back up. 
Six of Cups reversed, three of Wands reversed. Okay, why are all these... Why are all these cards upside down? <laughs> because they're meant to be. That's why. Salty feelings, bad vibrations, negative energy. N soulmates, but not so good friends. Sometimes those are the best soulmates to have, though. Sometimes those those are the soulmates that teach you the most valuable lessons. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, three of Wands reverse. Not waiting. Not waiting around. Letting that ship just go right on by. Okay, so what's happening this week? Oh, Six of Swords reversed and the Nine of... Oh, okay. I see what's happening now. Picture's a little bit more clear now. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards and symbol for my air sign, friends, please? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> something you couldn't let go of or release. Something that was burdensome. Maybe they couldn't release it. Maybe they were the ones who was bogged down. No longer able to put energy into it. Not the slow mover. Hmm. <coughs> huh. Hearing strategic, slow moving energy. I think some of you may be questioning why. You were putting energy into it for so long. But you can't let go. Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed here? Hi, how are you? Knight of Cups reversed. Someone not filling their cups with the right things could have drug and alcohol issues. I mean, it could, doesn't even necessarily have to be drugs and alcohol. It can be, you know, anything that... Throws a band-aid over the wound, I guess, would be the words I'm looking for. The temporary fix. Shopping, gambling, drugs, alcohol, food. Things of that nature. Things that you can do a little bit too much of when you're just trying to withdraw. I think this is a person. Can I get one more on that, please? High Priestess reversed. It's a deep connection. It's a long-standing connection. It's definitely a soulmate connection, but you don't feel the same way. You don't feel the same way about each other. I think possibly you've lost feelings for this. 
Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Justice in the reverse. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. The playing field isn't level. Pause. There's no stability. Things aren't equal. Someone's always giving more than the other. Okay. But slow moving energy. Hmm. Why is the Six of Cups reversed here? Seven of Pentacles reverse. Lost patience. Salty feelings. Bad memories. Horrible energy exchange. Lost patience with it. It's not fruiting the way you wanted it to. You're not into it. One more. Empress reverse. This isn't going to grow. The, 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 Quite frankly, air signs, you just don't like the person you're dealing with. And you're not going to wait around for them. Why is the Three of Wands reversed here? Eight of Swords. Eight of Cups. You're not waiting around for it. It's consumed your thoughts. It's very consuming. And it can be extremely consuming when you can't release a burden and you don't have the energy to put into anything else. I have a good feeling about this Knight of Pentacles, though. I think something good is coming for you. I really do. I see, I see you no longer waiting and moving forward, moving on. in process you could have already moved on from something six of swords reverse this is a return i'm gonna fold them maybe not two of cups upright moon reversed Hmm. One or two of cups. Queen of Wands reversed. Huh. Two of Swords reversed. Three of Swords reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Huh. I don't know about all that. Okay, here's what I'm hearing for some of you. It's a return. Definitely a soulmate gig. 
possibly from long ago. I, I don't see this as brand new. And if it is, it's because it's, you know, not, it, what didn't happen in this lifetime. But, return of someone from your youth, maybe. Someone it took a while, someone either you or they had to make a difficult choice. Because it didn't move forward. But you weren't that heartbroke about it. And things are come, becoming clearer now. Things that weren't illuminated before are illuminated now. This is what's surrounding this return this week. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Oh. High Priest comes out. Wow. Four of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Yes! Yes! That's amazing. I like it. This is a divine union. I think somebody's coming with that 10th pentacle. Someone where it is going to be equal give and take. So you can finally lay things to rest. Huh. I like it. I like it a lot. I like a lot of air signs. I like it a lot. All right. Let's get your advice. Two of Wands reversed, Eight of Cups. Magician reversed, Queen of Swords reversed. Wow. Hmm. Okay, well, that that's interesting. As far as the Magician reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed, if... How, what is a polite way to say this? Um, well, if all you're thinking is negative thoughts and you have a negative attitude, you're going to manifest negative things. You're not going to manifest the positive things in your life that you want. If you walk into a situation thinking, oh, this isn't going to work out because it never works out, it's not going to work out. If someone from the past comes back and wants to make amends and wants to level the playing field, if you automatically walk into it with the attitude of, okay, I know what you did to me last time and you're probably going to do it again. You just manifested. <laughs> you just manifested crap into your life that didn't need to be there without knowing what the outcome was going to be. So, you know, just dial it down a little bit, Air Signs. Don't assume things. Two of Wands reversed, Eight of Cups. There's that little lizard dude again. Don't stay stuck at the crossroads. If you're having a hard time deciding if you want to let go and move on. Sometimes you just need to walk away from the whole situation for a minute. Sometimes you need to leave your emotions behind and collect your thoughts and walk away for a minute. And sometimes that minute's more than a minute. Sometimes that minute's a while. But don't allow yourself to stay stuck. If that makes any sense to anybody. All right, friends. I gotta get ready to go to my bread and butter job. 
And my throat's starting to kill me. That's another side effect of the medication I'm on. So, Tuesday. Because, like I said earlier in the video, I don't know how much you guys skipped when you were just fast-forwarding through the timestamps. But, Sunday, Monday, I'm not going to be available to do a work week top and bottom. So, this one's good for seven days. Okay. Tuesday, once I'm back in line and got the house to myself and things are back on track. I'm going to start with the November readings and hopefully have November and December done by the evening of American Thanksgiving. So the Thursday, the end of the day Thursday of the following week. We're going to see what happens. I'm setting a goal. So hopefully I can achieve that goal of relative ease. But uh, neither here nor there at this point. I love you guys. Be blessed. Thanks for coming by. And I will see you guys next Friday.